Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com. In this final portion, we're going to talk about the cam part of what John did in his video. Uh, at one point is on his video, what he wants to do is he just wants to run a contour operation along this edge and this edge. And because Fusion will see this whole loop as a closed loop, it wants to select everything. So we'll show you a little tip on how you can uh, do some open contour selections. So if I click on my setup right here, you can see the yellow part portion of this represents my stock and then obviously my part. My origins up here, that's the WCS where the machine will be touched off. And um, on this operation, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a little machine in the machining of these two edges. So what I will do is I will do choose a 2D contour and then we're going to go find a tool. And the tool I want to use is a quarter inch flat. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. The easiest way to do this is to hold the Alt key down while you make your selections. So in this case, I could just select that line and this line. If I let the Alt key up, you can see it wants to grab the entire loop. When I hold the Alt key down, I can just select the two lines that I want to put a tool path to. On the Macintosh, it doesn't seem to work that way. So I'll show you an alternative way to do that in a second. So now we've selected our two contour lines. Um, we just have to go to our Heights tab, and I'm going to say I want to go from stock top, and I'll say two model bottom, and we'll click OK. It generates a tool path. I have to edit that. It looks like I missed something there. Go to the Heights. I want to go to the model bottom, not the model top. Click OK. Now it edited the tool path, and there's what we were looking for. So the other way we could go about doing this is I will come back and edit this operation and then I'm going to unselect the two chains. Another thing you can do just to select those two lines is to go ahead and click once on the loop and then go ahead and click on it again. And when you do, it'll bring up, up this uh, contour selection dialog mini toolbar. So you just go ahead and say open contour and then select the other line that you want. A very important step is to make sure to hit the plus to accept your current contour. And then everything else should be the same from there. Go ahead and click OK. And now you can see it added our contour around the part. So there is an alternative way that you can uh, select just certain parts of a closed profile. Thanks for watching.